Did you know that the world record for the fastest cricket ball ever hit by a batsman is a whopping 161.3 kilometers per hour? This record, set by Shahid Afridi, showcases the power and precision that can be achieved with the right batting technique. Welcome to the world of cricket batting techniques, where every swing of the bat is a careful calculation, a blend of power and precision. Mastering the basics is the first step on this journey. It's crucial to get your stance right, to hold the bat with the correct grip, and to move your feet with agility and purpose. These elements, when combined, form the foundation of a good batting technique. They pave the way for you to move on to more advanced techniques, and ultimately, to play the game with the kind of power and precision that makes records. Stay tuned to discover how to hit your cricket ball with power and precision, just like Shahid Afridi. Before you can hit a cricket ball at record-breaking speeds, you need to master the basics. Let's start with your stance. Your stance is your foundation, the platform from which you play all your shots. Stand side on to the bowler with your feet shoulder width apart. Your front foot should point towards the bowler while your back foot should be parallel to the crease. This position gives you the balance and flexibility you need to play a wide range of shots. Now, let's talk about your grip. Hold the bat near the top of the handle, with your top hand's knuckles facing the bowler. Your grip should be firm but relaxed. Squeezing the bat too tightly can restrict your movements and reduce your control. Remember, the bat is an extension of your arms, so hold it as naturally as possible. Your eyes are your radar, guiding you to the ball. Keep them level and focused on the ball from the moment it leaves the bowler's hand until it hits your bat. This concentration will help you react quickly and accurately to the ball's movement. Next up, footwork. Good footwork is about balance, agility, and timing. If the ball is pitched up, step forward towards the ball with your front foot, keeping your head and body weight over your front knee. If the ball is short, move your back foot back and across, ready to play on the back foot. Remember, your footwork should be quick and precise allowing you to get into the best position to play the ball. And finally, the golden rule of batting, always move your feet towards the line of the ball. This helps you get closer to the ball, giving you more control over your shots and making it harder for the bowler to get you out. Mastering these basics is the first step to becoming a great batsman. Next, we'll look at some advanced techniques to increase your power and precision. Now that you've mastered the basics, it's time to take your batting to the next level. Let's talk about two advanced techniques, the drive and the pull. The drive is a powerful stroke played in the direction of the bowler. It's all about timing rather than brute force. The trick is to get your front foot to the pitch of the ball and punch it down the ground with a straight bat. Remember, your head should be over the ball and your weight transferred onto the front foot. This technique is typically used when the ball is pitched up near your front foot and you aim to score runs along the ground. The pull, on the other hand, is a cross-batted shot played to a ball pitched short or of a good length. It's a horizontal bat shot where you swivel on your back foot, pulling the ball from the offside to the leg side. Your eyes should always be on the ball and your head still while your front foot pivots to generate the power. A pull is best utilized when the ball is short and sits up nicely to be hit on the leg side. The key difference between the drive and the pull lies primarily in the delivery of the ball and your response to it. A drive is used against a full-length delivery, directing the ball straight down the ground, while a pull is used against a short delivery, redirecting it from the offside to the leg side. Both techniques require a strong sense of timing and an understanding of the field. The drive is about precision, placing the ball into the gaps along the ground. The pull, conversely, is about power, sending the ball towards the boundary or even over it. Remember, cricket isn't just about power, it's about precision too. Each shot should be a calculated decision based on the type of delivery and the field setting. By mastering the drive and the pull, you can greatly increase your power and precision. But there's one more technique to discuss, the sweep. The sweep is a technique that can help you hit the ball with both power and precision, but it requires a little extra finesse. Now, let's learn how to master the sweep. 
First, let's talk about stance. Make sure your front foot is bent and your back knee is touching the ground. Your head should be over the ball and your eyes focused. Now for the swing. Your bat should swing across the line of the ball, almost parallel to the pitch. It's all about the timing. Wait for the ball to come close before you swing. Too early or too late and you might just miss. The sweep is most effective against slower deliveries, especially those landing around the leg stump. It's a great way to keep the score ticking when the fielders are packed on the offside. So remember, stance, swing, timing. With the sweep in your arsenal, you're well on your way to becoming a powerhouse at the crease. Let's wrap up with a quick review. Mastering the art of batting requires practice, patience, and a good understanding of the techniques we've covered today. Remember, it all begins with the basics. The right stance, a firm grip, and nimble footwork set the foundation for a strong batting game. Next, we moved on to the advanced techniques. The drive and the pull, two essential shots in any batter's arsenal, are all about timing and precision. They require a keen eye, a quick wrist, and a strong follow-through. We also delved into the art of mastering the sweep. A well-executed sweep can be a game-changer, throwing the opposing team off their game and scoring you crucial runs. But no matter the technique, remember that precision and power are the key. A powerful shot is nothing without accuracy, just as a precise shot can fall short without enough force behind it. Keep practicing these techniques, and who knows, you could be the next Shahid Afridi, hitting record-breaking cricket balls with power and precision.